Hey everyone, what's happening? Jean Ginsburg here and the lovely Angela Giles, of course. Hi Jean, how was your fourth? Oh, it was awesome. Um, we went up to the mountains of Colorado here a few hours away. It was super busy where we were in Steamboat Springs, but it was really fun and um, it was great to go hiking. Um, yeah, I love that area. <laughs> How about you? I'm really good. Ellen and I had a really nice holiday. It was fun. We relaxed a yesterday. Oh my gosh, I just have to share it and we can dive into our topic. Have you seen that show? I'm sure it's been on Netflix forever called The Ranch. I've heard of it, but I haven't seen it. I've heard of it too. And Alan just randomly pulled it up this weekend and we started binge watching it. I laughed. I had all these plans. Like I had this list, right? You know how we do. I had this list of all this stuff, right? Oh yeah. Right. Like I did one thing in the morning. I binge watched the ranch all freaking day yesterday. I didn't even take a shower. I laughed so hard. I'm like, I need this, right? Sometimes you just need that, right? You know, yeah. you just need a good laugh. Yeah. It was so freaking funny. I mean... <laughs> You have to go watch it. So that was my 4th of July. We had a great day, a great weekend. It was really good. And, uh, oh, and our car got hit for the second time. Last, was it two Saturdays ago, someone backed into the front. And then this mm -hmm. time we were parked somewhere and someone backed into the rear. So I'm like, okay, that's a sign, um, right? Same so, car, huh? Same car. But it's it's all good because we haven't fixed the front yet. It was We had just taken it to an auto body. So, you know. They can fix the other part now, too. They can fix both bumpers now. <laughs> so we're going to talk about podcasting today. I love this topic. So, Jean, getting started with podcasting with the women, especially in our digital marketing and tech for women group, really, do you believe the first place is starting with your own podcast or getting or, or more so um, getting on other people's podcasts? Well, that's a very good question, but I think let's um, table that for one second. And I think okay. let's talk about why is podcasting important? Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. 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 Let's start there I because I always like to get, I always like to yeah. go to the beginning, right? Like, yeah. well, you know, there's all this stuff around. There's Facebook ads and there's Instagram and there's social media and there's podcasting, blah, blah, blah. But why are they all important? I guess is I sometimes forget that. And I always like make myself ask that question because, um, not everybody's familiar with podcasting. Not everyone has a podcast. Not everyone has listened to podcasts. I know that you're not like you. You listen to podcasts sometimes. I'm actually pretty big on listening to podcasts. Yeah, I enjoy podcasts. I think I'm just the weird odd duck out. I love podcasts and I like listening. I had a podcast for a while, but here's my challenge. Back in junior high, back in the day when I was way younger, I taught myself to speed read. So I literally can even when you like increase the speed on a podcast, I can read it faster then I can um, listen to it. So it annoys me to have to listen to something when I can read it faster and get you know, do like two X speed on podcasts. Yeah. Like it's just, I, I literally can read something like I can go through three books. If you, I were to sit down for a full day, I can read three books. Wow. I did. There was actually, it was really funny. There was speaking of speed reading. Um, I was watching this video by that Russell Brunson Brunson had from ClickFunnels, and he invited like the speed reader, the guy who like can speak and who can like read like the books like the fastest. And he yeah. read one of I think it was like something like one of his secrets books, the the Russell Brunson's like funnel secrets or something like that. He read that guy read that book, you know, which is like, you know, normal size book, like probably a few hundred pages in like four and a half minutes. <laughs> oh, wow. That's way it's crazy. That okay. guy's like crazy fast. <laughs> yeah. So, but I love podcasting. And for me, it works really well when I'm like working on something else and I can listen or I'm in the car. Like I really do appreciate that. So uh, but that being said, I'm just the odd man out. So sure. I highly encourage people to um, think of podcasting as another way of like either getting the word out about your business or lead gen or whatever, right? Yeah. I mean, it's all part of your brand suite nowadays, right? If you want to be successful online, there's many things that you need to do and podcasting is one of them, right? Wow. So you know, there's social media, there's podcasting, um, there's writing blogs. It's like, if you want to have a successful online business, then it's just another thing that you have to do. But I would say, well, and then the reason why it's important, right? Not just it's, it's part of your part, it's part of your brand suite, but also because people like to listen to podcasts, like when they're in the car, when they're on their treadmill, when they're walking the dog, I do this all the time. Like I'm walking the dog, I'll put on a podcast, I'll put on my headphones and just walk around the neighborhood, right? Same thing when I'm driving. I actually do a lot of podcasting or I do a lot of um, 
uh, audiobooks as well when I'm uh, when I'm driving, especially like long distance driving. So especially now because like since we can't all get on, you know, we can't get on planes very easily as much as as we used to before. Like we're, I, I find myself driving a lot more or in the car a lot more these days. So. Yeah, so it's a good place for for podcasting. So basically, getting your word out there and getting people to engage with your content. Because the more people can engage with your content, the more that you know about you. Then you know, obviously, it's a lot easier to, to do the, the whole no trust trust and like factor. Well, it, it's interesting, Gene. So I'd really like to take this like real time. So for example, Gene and I both have our own businesses, and this community, this uh, women or digital marketing and tech for women entrepreneurs is something. It was just a, it was something that we were super passionate about. But like for example, and we came together to create this group. But one of the things, Gene, I'd like for you to like actually talk about is in your business. You do you know social media, you do consulting for digital marketing. If you like, if you wanted to like take your business to the next level, right? How would you use podcasts for your own business? I do have a, I do actually have a podcast for myself. Okay. It's called Listen by Gene Ginsberg. And it has interviews and it has just my own just my own, you know, ramblings on there and talking about digital marketing. It's not ramblings, but you know, we're talking we talk about digital marketing and entrepreneurship and social media. I mean I mostly do the talking unless I have a person that I'm interviewing. Uh, but you can definitely use that, like you said, for lead gen, for getting people to know your content, for getting prospective clients, because the more that somebody can learn about you, the more likely they're, you know, if they like what you have to say and your kind of how you present yourself and wh what you talk about, then they're more likely to, of course, engage with you further. Right. So we have some questions. What can podcasting give you that you can't get from other advertising and marketing? Um, well, to me, podcasting, I really feel like is something that, you know, with, with video, I mean, you get the whole experience of seeing a person, but I think with podcasting, podcasting is easy to like what Jean does. She takes it around with her. I mean, people listen to podcasts when they're exercising there. It's like, you can be in your ideal client's space more, I think with podcasting than a lot of other um, means of advertising. So for example, like if I'm on the treadmill, right? I'm not going to be looking at my Facebook and trying to walk on the treadmill, but I can listen to someone doing a podcast when I'm driving. I'm not looking at my Facebook, but I can listen to someone do a podcast. So if you're listening to someone um, speak, they have sponsors. A lot of times podcasts have like the sponsors, you know, in the, in the middle and the end and the beginning. So that's what I would say. Gene, do you have anything to add to that? Um, I, so I, what you said is absolutely, absolutely right. Um, and in terms of what you can get from, from other advertising and marketing, I mean, I would say that it's just an additional way to consume content. I don't, I mean, so one of the other questions, questions was, uh, is podcast not just the blog? It's not, it's, it's all audio. So it's just for listening. That's what a podcast is. So that's why it's another, it's just another channel or another method of how you can get your message across to I, your audiences. Right. And you said, so should they be able to call in on a podcast? It depends on how you set your podcast up. Your podcast, if you're doing it live, like Gary V, for example, Gene and I were on Gary V and he does tea with Gary V in the morning. And I don't know if he officially labels that as a podcast, but that's live. So people don't call in, but they can comment, right? He does it via YouTube, uh, YouTube live streaming thing. Um, yeah, he does it like this via StreamYard where he brings guests on and they can ask questions during Tea with Gary Vee, just like we did when we were there. Right. And so is so it's good for sponsors. Absolutely. When you like put your um, when you put it like on iTunes, for example, and you get a lot of people listening to you all the time. Um, so for example, Sam Crowley, I listen to him every day is Saturday kind of thing is his podcast. He gives sponsors. He makes really good money and he's either talks himself about a specific topic or he'll have, he'll interview people that are specialists in different topics. So it's really good. I would say that a podcasting too is more general. Yes. People give good content, but it's not like, you know, like a blog post where it might tell you do step one, step two, step three, and like super detailed. Oh. I have seen those kinds oh, of podcasts as well. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Where they do maybe a list. I actually remember listening to one. It was about mindset. And um, I don't remember the name of the podcast. But yeah, they were like, here are like the seven, 
you know, key points about having a abundant mindset or something like that. So you can very easily turn a blog into a podcast. So the thing that we talk about here a lot is repurposing content, right? So you can create a video, make it download the audio, make it into a podcast. Actually, that's what we do here. We actually take these Facebook lives. I send them over to my team and we create podcast episodes right out, out of these Facebook lives. So we don't create additional podcast episodes. Like we don't, we used to record directly with Angela, like in a podcast and have just have an, ep an episode for podcast. But now we just take these and repurpose them because some people uh, like to hear us here on uh, Facebook lives or YouTube lives. Some people like to hear the podcast. Um, you can also take and transcribe it and make it into a blog or the vice versa. If you have a blog, you can make it into a podcast, right? Just like speak about each of the points in your blog. So there's many ways of repurposing the content if you it just depends on what you're most interested in or mo what you're most good at like i would say i'm pretty good at most things so i can do video i can do audio i can do writing well, writing i'm not that great at but you know i can i can sort of do it um but maybe you're very good at audio and that's what you love doing uh or maybe you're good at writing and so that's your thing oh, um, yeah. i can do it all if you can <laughs> Um, I would say that's so true. So for example, I have a client and she does um, fast track your, you know, to your dream job. And this woman, I am telling you, she is such a whiz at helping people find like, if you've been laid off or you want a new job professional, like we're talking high level professional, she's a whiz at helping them. But she's like, I don't like writing is not necessarily her thing. She does so well on audio. It blows my mind. Like she's so good. So that's what she focuses on. Now I've had another client in the past where we tried emails, people would read her emails, da 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 da, but she wouldn't get the like leads to actually convert. But I'm telling you the minute they meet her in person or see her on video, it's a total different story. So I really believe that podcasting is great, but it really depends on you and what you choose and maybe what you're good at, right? Yeah, absolutely. So it's really picking your style it works best for you some people are really good on video and they love doing videos and and that's what they do and so but we try to do it all because uh we feel that there's many different ways on how people consume our content for the digital marketing and tech for moon entrepreneurs community so we want to have them have access to all the types of mediums out there so that includes video audio we write blogs we um we have of course our group where we write stuff <laughs> we also well, post it, our know, podcasts in there and Exactly. But keep in mind, Jean has been doing this 12 plus years. I've been doing this 18 years. So there is a difference. So if you're newer to this kind of thing, then pick one thing, get really good at it. I always say 90 days. That's just what works for me and what I've shared with my clients. Jean, you may have a different um, viewpoint on that, but I just say. Yeah, I would say like hold, like do it every day for 90 days. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking I would, about. I, you know, I got better at podcast, uh, sorry, at videos. I saw, I started doing videos four years ago. Um, I guess this was four years ago and during the summer, exactly. And it took me a little bit longer, I'd say, than 90 days because I didn't do it every day. That's the thing. Like if I did it every day, I probably would have gotten better at it, you know, much more quickly. Um, but yeah, for me, it took a little bit longer. But yeah, just use whatever you're comfortable with, get really good at it, and then you can add the additional repurposing for your content. So, um, and then, of course, speaking about pop podcasting, we have a podcast that Angela and I do, which is actually this, um, but we do a lot more there as well. We have other content that we've put in there. We have recorded podcasts also that, that are outside of this Facebook Live. So definitely subscribe to our podcast. It's if you just go to wedmpodcast.com, um, it is you'll, it'll take you directly to the iTunes page and you can um, download our podcast, subscribe. We would love to have you there. But we talk all about women and entrepreneurship and digital marketing and technology and social media. And I so, love it because for me, <laughs> it gives me an outlet. I love tech. I love digital marketing. And that was my whole reason for being involved in this is how can I serve women in that capacity? It's so much yeah. fun. I mean, so we sometimes dive a little deep into the tech because, you know, I get yeah. started and I can't stop. <laughs> And of course, we have Tech Thursdays. If yeah. you guys haven't haven't heard those or haven't been to those, then definitely come to Tech Thursdays. 
Um, we have those every Thursday and we talk more specifically about tech. We uh, answer questions that are related to tech. Um, a lot of times we get those questions in advance or maybe we heard about something like we were in, you know, engaged, like for example, a lot of times you, sh you have your mastermind and there's questions there about tech. So we repurpose those and we talk about them on a broader scale outside of the mastermind. Um, or a lot of times people get ask us questions directly here. So um, check out Tech Thursdays every Thursday, same time, same place. It's at noon mountain, 11 a.m. Pacific. So cool. Anything else you want to add before we wrap up? No, I just think it was fun. I enjoy talking about podcasts. I mean, there's just so many different fun things to discuss. So thank you for all the amazing yeah. questions today. I love it. Come back tomorrow and ask questions tomorrow because we, we keep the same theme throughout the week and we talk you know, different aspects of it. So this is very exciting. So thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks everybody.